Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. Our tech bite on Mac OS notifications. So we're going to take a look today at notifications on the Mac. Okay. Um, we've had them on the phones mm -hmm. for a long time, and they kind of snuck into the Mac OS back when iOS 7 came out in 2013. Right. But, you know, they didn't make a big deal out of yeah. it. A lot of people don't even right. know that it's there. Yeah, I think on our mobile devices, we're all so used to, um, you know, the, the banners that come down or the alerts that pop up. Right. And they kind of slowly started showing up on people's computers, you know, coming in for the screen. But um, a lot of people don't really realize that they're on the Mac or, um, you know, that they can really customize them just like they can on their phone. Like, for example, I just set my husband up with it. <laughs> uh, you know, who's very smart technology wise, and he was blown away. He's like, I had no idea. It was just like on your phone. Right, so right. it makes a great video. Let's, exactly. Let's get to it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at where the notification center is. And it's in the upper right hand corner of the screen, the okay. three line icon. If you click on it, it's going to come up and it's going to show you. Um, you have two options. You have today or notifications. Right. Okay. Just like on your phone. Exactly. Now, when you're in the today mode, what people don't necessarily realize mm -hmm. is that you can customize the way this looks. Um, we do have a video um, on iOS notifications, yep. and it's really pretty much the same, same thing. But yep. we're going to run you through it quick here, but you might want to take a look at that video as well mm -hmm. to brush up for things on your phone. So if I go into edit at the bottom, um, it's showing me what I have here. And... Let's say I want to customize this. You have the little red switch that says you can get rid yep. of some. Maybe you don't use reminders right now. Do you want to use the no. reminders app? So why do we wish we have it here? We're going to hit the red button and it's going to go back. I don't know if I should admit that, right? Yeah, well, that's okay. <laughs> well, well, another day. I still like post-it notes. Yeah. yeah. So over here, now you see it's gone into the things that you could put in. Um, okay. You do like calendar. Maybe you like to see your calendar first so right. you can pick it up and you can move it around. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Maybe I have to move today down. Oh, I lied. Today has to stay at the right. top. Right. That makes sense, but you that can makes move sense. everything after Let's it. move stocks yeah. up. So that that's the sense. first thing you see. And then you can also pick from these things over here. Okay. Uh, maybe you want to put the world clock over there. Yeah, if you do that's always in fun. other countries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you always want no, that. No, we travel a lot for business. That's helpful. Or iTunes. That's kind of fun to have your iTunes um, mm -hmm. right over there. Okay. So that's how you customize it. You can also go to the App Store and find other right, things that you there. can add into the notification center, which Perfect. is kind of cool. A little different than iOS. Um, uh, yeah, it's right. an things. Okay. All right, I'm going to say done to that. So we've rearranged the way our today looks. Um, also, it, 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 we then can go to the notification okay. side. And over here, we will see the notifications that we've received today, yesterday, yeah. and so on. And then we have the ability to turn Do Not Disturb on just or like off. Just like on your phone. Just like on your phone. Yep. Um, the settings for this can be found in System Preferences, but there's a shortcut here down right at the there. bottom. You can hit or the Or you can just here. go to the um, Apple menu to System Preferences or if you have it in your dock. Right. And it comes up, and here we have our notifications preferences. Yes. And this and, is what, yeah, it's so surprising to people. Look at all those different apps right. or whatever right. applications all, we're calling them now because we're on the computer. That right. you can customize. Right, and they have to they have to um, subscribe to or work with Apple's notifications. So mm -hmm. maybe not all not of your programs are going to show up here. Um, but let's, for example, go down to Mail and take a look at that. This is one that when it first came out drove me crazy yeah. because I'm working on my Mac, and then I see this little banner come <laughs> yeah. up. Oh, you're getting a mail right. from so and so. It's like I, I had to, oh, you go follow it and you get yeah. off track. Yeah, yeah, I had to turn it off. You know, right. it's nice you can turn it on. I like it on. It doesn't bother yeah. me. I just yeah. take a quick look, and then I'm yeah. like, no, if it's an email, I have to look at it now. But something, right. you know, you can turn on or off. Right, and maybe you're waiting for an email, right. so you want to turn it on. Um, you have your different alert styles. You can say none, which won't put any right. alerts up for you. Mm -hmm. You can do banners, which are the ones that come up, and right. on the Mac, they shoot in from the upper right-hand corner yeah. and go away automatically. Just like on the phone, they come right. down from the top. Right, yep. Um, or you can do alerts. Alerts to oh. pop up. And stay there till you do yep. something. You have to say so, accept or decline or whatever that alert requires. Right. You can show notifications on the lock screen or not, just like on the phone. Yep. You can show a message preview. Um, and you, you, you can go further here and say always show a message preview or only when unlocked. Wow. Now, this is kind of nice like because that. you may not want a message preview to show up when it's live yeah. because maybe you've left your desk yeah. and now a coworker is going to see a little blur. Secret emails, right? That's right. <laughs> Those secret emails. Um, you can show in the notification center the most. You can pick how many to okay. show. Perfect. Um, you or can turn do, it off. 
Right. You can turn well, it off. right. You can turn yes. it off by clicking the app. Say, I don't want it in the notification center. Um, you can have a badge app icon, which puts the little number like yep, down here. Like uh, looks like you have a text yep. message. Okay. I love it. And then you can play a sound for notifications as well. Yeah. So okay. those are the yeah. options that you have um, for setting up yeah. notifications. So I think it's uh, I think it's nice. They're kind of almost starting to blend the two they operating are, systems really between are. the mobile and the Mac. And this is a really great feature to add to Mac. Exactly. We hope you enjoyed learning with Sync Sisters. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.